Hello, my name is Laura Flick. I am the owner of Your Love Templates, and I create templates for productivity and overall lifestyle. This is my subscription tracker, and I'm going to be showing you how to use it today. The first thing I want to mention is only fill in the white cells. The gray cells are automatic, so they shouldn't be edited at all. Let's start by listing the types of categories that our subscriptions would fall under. I'm going to list out 20 just so you have some examples of what they could be, but you don't have to list that many. Once you've done that, you can move down to your subscriptions. You'll list all of your subscriptions, their category, their frequency, and their cost. You can add a renewal date, but I typically just do those for the annual ones. And it'll give you days left until renewal, so it's a countdown. And you can select whether it's auto pay or not. So this first one, I'll just do Netflix. It's entertainment. I'm billed monthly. I am billed $9.99. I don't need to put a renewal date because then I'll have to update that every month and I don't want to do that. It is on auto pay. I don't have any notes. Over here it calculates your average monthly cost. So for example, if I said that this was weekly $9.99, then it would cost me $39.96, but I'm only billed monthly, so I'll just put that. Another example is Hulu, that's also entertainment build annually $80. So over here it gives me an estimated monthly cost of $667 per month even though I'm billed annually. Since this is annual I'm going to put when I will be billed next and it gives me a countdown and if it's less than four days it will turn red. Once you filled out all of your subscriptions, you can now go up here and monitor to see where your money is going. From my example, it calculated that I'm spending $2,700 a year or $225 a month. Over here, this is the comparison between all of the subscriptions that you listed. So even though Coursera is an annual subscription, if I break that down monthly, I'm spending the most on that about $33. This pie chart here is a comparison between all the different categories annually. So entertainment is only 9.5%, news is 14.2%, so it's interesting to see it in a visual like this. It looks like the most I'm spending is on education at 18.9%. So that's about it for this subscription tracker. If you have any questions, you can email me at Etsy you are loved at gmail.com and I can answer any questions or concerns that you have.